So playing with relays and LEDs and temperature sensors has all been a lot of fun and it's a great learning experience. But you get to the point where you want to actually create something that can do something that is not just useful but can be a little bit fun too. So we're going to talk about that today with our Arduino. And what we're going to be talking about is one of these guys right here, a servo motor. Okay. I know this one's a little bit beat up. I've been flying RC planes, helicopters, and now quads for over 20 years. So my servos have a little wear and tear on them. But basically this is a servo motor. And what it does is it changes the circular rotating motion of the gears in here into a linear motion on this output shaft and then onto this servo arm. But here's the thing, a servo motor does not go 360 degrees. They generally go about 180 degrees. And in the center is their zero or resting point. So when you're talking about the control surfaces on an RC airplane, you know, you're talking about the servo moving maybe this much, but relatively quickly. And you've needed uh, an RC radio transmitter and a receiver and all sorts of things because generally these work on um, pulses and the pulse width tells the servo what position to go to. But the folks at Arduino have changed all that and now we have the servo library which allows you to position the servo simply by giving it an angular position in degrees. So consider this zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees. You know, you tell the servo to go to 45 degrees and it's going to go right there. You tell it to go to 90 degrees and so on and so on. All right. So let's talk about how do we hook up our servo into the Arduino. Well, it's pretty simple. We need five volts and we need ground and we need a signal. So we're going to get ourselves a couple wires here. We have our signal wire going into the board and we're just going to mate it with that. Now when you look at the plug, trying to get this guy to focus here, pardon me. All right, I guess it doesn't want to focus. Try again here. There we go. We got three wires. Now this is an E-Flight servo. So the colors are different depending on your brand of servo, but look on the box and it'll tell you which wire is what. The brown wire is the ground. The middle wire is your positive, your plus five volts. And the orange wire is the signal wire. Okay. So all we have to do now is hook them up as simply as possible. Remember I said the orange wire is our signal wire. So we'll plug that signal pin into the signal wire. Uh, let's see, I got some more jumpers around here somewhere. Next, um, the power wire. which I plugged into the power rail of the breadboard goes into the center position and finally the ground wire goes into the ground position simple as that and our servo is hooked up all right, 
Let's head on over to the PC and take a look at the code to make it move. All right, let's uh, see how to attach these servos and use them with some Arduino code. All right, first step is we are going to need to include the servo library, otherwise nothing is going to happen. Next, we are going to define the servo with this command, servo, space, and then you can call the servo whatever you want. In this case, I'm calling it my servo one Next, we're going to declare an integer variable called pause that is going to hold the position in degrees that we want the servo to go to. All right. Then we come down to setup and we say my servo one dot attach and what pin it's on. Everything's pretty simple so far. Well, guess what? It is not going to get any more difficult. Now here we're just going to create a for loop and we're going to say for pause equals zero as long as pause is less than 180 increase pause by one okay and then we say my servo one right to pause and it simply tells it where to go in degrees then we're going to wait 15 milliseconds for the servo to get there and when it reaches 180 degrees, it will drop out of this for loop and into this one, which just goes backwards from 180 degrees to zero degrees. All right. Nothing much to it, is there? That's the entire code right there if you want to copy it. All right, let's go over to the lab bench and take a look. All right, we have everything wired up. We sent the code to the old Arduino Uno. Let's plug her in and watch what happens. We should get a relatively clean, uh, smooth sweep from one end of the servo's positioning to the other. Pretty simple, right? Okay. Well... I can hear you. What if we want to use more than one servo? Well, by all means, use more than one servo. Bring in another one. All that you need to do is plug her in. So now we have two servos, and we need to add a little bit to our code. Let's jump over to the computer real quick, and then we'll come right back. Okay, here's our code for two servos. Again, we have the include servo. Then we have our original servo my servo one. Now we add a new line servo my servo two, and then down here in our setup. We attach servo 2 on uh, pin 10 this time. And then down in our loop, we simply add the right command for our second servo. So let me send this to the Arduino, and we'll jump back over to the lab table and take a look. Well, there you have it, guys. Two servos. Now, oops, butterfingers, huh? You probably don't want to run any more than two servos off of an Uno, or you're going to exceed the current limit. These two servos running together produce about, or produce, they require about 400 milliamps, which is pushing the boundaries of what you want your Arduino to do. Now, I hope you like this video because this is part one 
in the next part we're going to make something cool out of this and if you have a cat or a dog they're going to love it so if you did enjoy this video give me a thumbs up share it with your friends share it on other websites and if you haven't subscribed yet don't worry there's still time i'll wait for you